What is going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Look at all these dudes following me around the tower. Crazy motherfuckers. Now Lord Saladin and the Iron Banner are back. Now I don't know about any of you guys, uh, but I actually skipped the last Iron Banner because it had nothing to offer me. It was basically the same shit from the first Iron Banner, apart from the armor having that light level 36 on it. But because me already having that raid armor, there's no need for me to play that's your Iron Banner itself. The weapons, okay, maybe I should have played it and got them because they were 331 attack instead of 300 attack. But all in all, um, the weapons really didn't stand out to me. The Timmer's Lash, okay, it's a decent hand cannon. The Gellion's Demise, the Scout Rifle is pretty good as well. But I've still got better hand cannons, I've still got better fucking scout rifles. I still use actually my Jolder's Hammer, which in my opinion is one of the best heavy machine guns in the game. I think my one is, I don't know if it's on this character. Um, yeah, it is. It's still the old school 300 attack one. Uh, I do want, and this is why the reason I am doing the Iron Banner this week, I'm going to grind the hell out of it this week. I want to get to that rank 5. I do want this actual Jordan's Hammer again. I know you can be rewarded in it if you grind Iron Banner. You may get it at the end of a match, but you may not. Um, I can reforge it, but it will it will still have the 300 attack. It won't change to 331, which is a bitch, but I can understand why Bungie have made it that way. I'm a little disappointed though. In a certain fact that there's nothing new added in terms of an emblem or a shader or even a class item. This has been the same thing since the start. I own all of these. None of them particularly stand out in my opinion whatsoever. Now the rank 4 weapon this time round is a Foul Winter's Life Shotgun. Which, okay the range and the impact look okay but everything else looks abysmal. Um, look at its mods. I know once you get these you can re-roll its mods. But as standard we have... Um, return to sender, kills this weapon, grant bonus and more directly to the magazine and we have range finder, aim this weapon increases its effective range which okay looks pretty good but the actual the fire rate on this is terrible, uh, flared magwell, we got hammer forge and we've got lightweight like I said yes when you unlock these you can re-roll them but it ain't gonna change the actual stats, the fire rate is gonna stay the same and the stability is gonna stay the same I mean they are this Disgusting as standard. The rank 5 weapon this time around is Gellion's Demise, which is a bit of a bitch because this is actually a good scout rifle, it really is a good scout rifle. And the one that comes as standard does has, as you can see there, Firefly and Outlaw, um, which are great, great mods, really amazing mods for a scout rifle. Now, if I was to compare this to my Crusader, which is probably the best scout rifle I have come across in this game, I actually unlocked it. Um, I have Firefly, Outlaw and Explosive Rounds on it. Um, when you compare these two, mine beats it in every single, well, stat apart from impact and range. Uh, reload on mine is better, stability on mine is better, and rate of fire on mine is better. But you can still see though, there isn't much of a difference. I mean, the Gillian's Demise has much better impact and range. It is a great scout rifle, it's a shame, it's a rank 5 one to, where well, you have to be a rank 5 to actually get it. But still, I'm not disappointed in that. Now the armors we have, we have well they go up to level 36. Again, for me, pretty useless. I probably will buy them though. <laughs> I mean, I will probably buy them once I get to uh, rank three and rank four, just so I can have a little bit of a change of my red armor because I'm getting a little bored of my character looking the same. Um, but yeah, these go up to a light level 36. Not very important to me, but I know there's a lot of people out there, I've got a few friends of mine who are struggling to get certain parts of raid armour. I don't know why, they're grinding the raid normal and hard each week, and they still can't get certain armors. it's ridiculous. I've got the same, well I've got about 6 or 7 of each um, across my hunters, it's ridiculous. But yeah, these will come in very handy to those of you guys who can't actually get that raid armour. Uh, I want to get up to that level 36, um, so yeah. Light level 36, we have the gauntlets and we have the leg armors. I was want I wanted to see a helmet. I mean, has he brought a helmet? I don't think he did last time. I don't even think I've ever seen one. Is there even an Iron Banner helmet? I haven't seen one. If there is, let me know down below in that comment section. Um, what have we got for bounties? Have we got the same bounties again? I think we have, haven't we? We've got the same bounties again, which 
ain't too bad because these bounties actually um, give you some crucible XP as well I believe or crucible marks as well uh, and I'm actually enjoying crucible at the moment and it's just a weekly refresh so I can get up them 100 marks again and then next week do it again and buy that fucking that one scout rifle I want to buy the beeline trauma as I've got everything else apart from the hand cannon which I ain't really fussed about but yeah I will enjoy doing all of these bounties while doing the crucible bounties as well so I'm pretty pumped that the iron banner is here um, like I said last time it was here I skipped it um, because it had nothing to offer for me this time around I do want a few of the weapons I would like the timmer's lash back because I had it dismantled it I had the scout rifle I dismantled it that I had the auto rifle it's terrible got rid of it I want the, sn uh, the sniper as well which I've never had but yet yeah, all in all I'm pretty pumped that the Iron Banner is back. I am going to grind the hell out of it this week. I want to get to that rank 5. Um, I ain't fussed about any of these shaders or emblems or class items. It's the same shit. But yeah, guys, let me know your opinion on the Iron Banner. Would you have liked more shaders? Would you have liked more emblems? Or would you have liked another class item? Um, are you fed up with it being the same things over and over? Let me know down below in that comment section. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by. Grind the hell out of this Iron Banner. I want to know your rank by the end of the week. And peace out until next time. Peace.